All right, my friends, it's a new day, new adventure, new chore, <laughs> new job to do. See, this pond is taken over by the weeds. I want to leave the lily pads, but from about here over, I got to clear all this out. You would not believe how strong those roots are on those weeds. But I've got to clean it out. It's just, it's overgrown. And I don't think there's anything left in here but frogs. Right now it looks old and overrun. Okay, so uh, let me show you what I've been doing this morning. Yesterday was cutting the grass day. Today's trim day. And he has, my dad has this uh, electric weed whacker. This thing is way better than a gas one. It's quiet and does the job. It's lighter weight. He has an old gas one out here, but he forgot to drain it and it's been sitting with the gas and the oil mix in it. And I think I'm gonna have to rebuild the carburetor on it. It's, it's in bad shape, but this is way better anyway. Look how good it trims around the brick there. You see I trimmed all around the, the bottom there of this little tool carport thing. And I never did get around to moving the van yesterday. Let's see if I can get my hand to stop shaking. I think I need some Gatorade. I think that's what it is. I think my potassium's low. It's hot here. It's so muggy. Um, I need to get most of this done before noon because afternoon it's too hot up until about eight o'clock at night to even do anything. My shirt's just soaked in sweat after I do anything. So yeah, I need to go in and get some Gatorade in me. But I wanted to give you a, a before shot and I will check back in after I get it cleaned out and we're gonna camouflage that pipe somehow because that's just ugly with that pipe sticking out. That's what fills the pond. But there used to be little goldfish in here, tadpoles, and now there's nothing but big frogs in here. So need to camouflage this uh, pump hose too. Man, I'm shaking. Yeah, okay, let me get some Gatorade and I'll check back in later. I'm making progress. It's the next day. And I've been waiting for the water to clear up because it got real muddy with me pulling up all those weeds. And I'm gonna leave all of these lily pads because that's really nice. And the uh, little fish need shade. I'm gonna leave a, leave a few of this these other plants. Oh, did you see that frog jump in? I think I got him on video. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna leave a little bit and then this other area over here is completely no vegetation. And the water, it is clearing up. But I think I might need to put some gravel down on the bottom just some light colored gravel, that would be pretty. But that's a big difference. It was just completely covered in, I don't know if this stuff's called hydrilla. It's some kind of water plant, I call it a weed. <laughs> but I want a little bit in there, but not the whole thing just taken over. But you can see the bottom there is just sand. And I think it'd be better if it had some gravel like you'd put on the bottom of an aquarium. I think that'd be nice. There's tons of little tadpoles in here. And I keep looking for the goldfish, but my dad said he thinks they all died. I don't see any left in here. It used to be, not goldfish, koi I think they were. But anyway, the pump's running and it's got a filter built into it. I still need to camouflage this pipe here. This pipe comes from the well that I just fixed the other day in here. And if you saw that video, you saw that I put in a pump that pumps the water up, runs on electricity, pumps it up out of the well, goes through a pipe underground here that was already here. It's just the well hasn't worked in a long time. 
So, so this pipe underground has been here for a long time. And it used to be a big bush here that covered this pipe so you couldn't see it, but it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. So now I need to do something so you won't see this PVC pipe coming out of the ground. It's kind of an eyesore. But it's looking really pretty now. It's really nice to sit out here on the back porch in the evening and listen to this little waterfall trickle. And I noticed that this thing's falling apart, this arbor. It's all rotten. This was built out of treated wood, but I don't think they treated it very well. It's bad. That's gonna be a tough job right there. Really tough because uh, it's gonna have to have some kind of scaffolding to hold up those cross beams and able to unscrew this main beam replace it and then screw it back into the car it's, it's just going to be a, a very difficult balance job but there's a lot going on around here i stopped at home depot this morning and bought some new bolts to replace on those rusted bolts that hold my uh, mounts and brackets on top of the van over here that hold up my solar panels there's a screw on each corner that's got surface rust on it so i bought some new ones to replace those and it's no hurry i mean it's nothing pressing i can do that anytime and i finished the yard i, I cut everything with the zero turn mower and then went around with a weed whacker my dad has an electric one i've never used an electric weed whacker before it's great it's lighter weight, it's quiet, cuts through the weeds good. But I just used it around like this brick border here, all around the well. It works better than any gas powered weed whacker I've ever used. Did really well. But I, I think I'm done with this. I might need to get some, some gravel you can buy a bag of colored gravel and I'd like to put it right over there just to make it make it look pretty right there. A little color, I don't know, light beige maybe or something that's got maybe a little tint to it. Something like that. Be Look nice right there. All right, my friends. I will check in later. Thanks for watching. Take care. Be well and smash the bell.